What's your game plan today, Frenchie? I'm shooting anything that f***ing moves. There's more. It's a fork. Seven. Eight. Good morning, everyone. Day three of Iowa Shotgun first season. We got the Bud Man. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. And we got the Bob Man. And I can see a train just went by. You know how I can tell? I can see its tracks. Hey, I see one coming. Wow! We got to sleep in a little bit today. We got 15 deer over the first weekend, which is unprecedented for our group, honestly. So we can be a little more choosy today, and we can actually kind of enjoy our hunts and have a nice relaxing time. But yeah, there's the train. But we're gonna go meet up at uh, one of our hunter's houses. He's got breakfast served for all of us, and then we're gonna go out to our drive. So stay tuned. So we're just getting started up here at the state ground. So we're going to have to walk about three quarters of a mile across uh, basically a state park and then before we get into public hunting. And when we do that, we always have to have our guns and a sock just because it's public. That's a, a non-hunting sanctuary, whatever you want to call it. Gun condom. Whatever floats your boat, Robert. Heard that one. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> Got something coming off? What's your game plan today, Frenchie? I'm shooting anything in a moves anything that moves <laughs> well you're not wearing your your famous hat so but it looks yeah. like it this one fits a lot better <laughs> yeah, I an orange. Anyway, why are you carrying his gun uh, good question. Bud can grow a better mustache so he's like his apprentice he learn. <laughs> now we're in the public hunting now we can go take our socks off our guns Last time they burned a uh, rock and roll. Okay, we're just setting up for our first drive. A bunch of blockers. <clears throat> a bunch of drivers. I mean, he just called me a dummy. Anyway, we gotta walk up here probably about a quarter of a mile yet, and we'll push this all the way down and see what we can do here. We're looking at seven tags left, so hopefully we get a few out of this here drive or the next one and go back to cleaning, so. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's about 30 degrees. No wind. Huh. She was here overnight. Must have got shot last night. Yeah. Yeah. Nice size doe. Well, that sucks. Somebody shot up at the state park ground. Somebody obviously shot it right here didn't want to track it or couldn't track it yeah it was it was hit last night probably 1832 oh the hell he couldn't track it it's a good shot just a little far forward nice doe too that sucks yeah eagles are gonna be eating i love public hunting day three drive one we're starting at like nine o'clock because we're all old and we wanted to sleep in, so I'm driving so we can make some noise and get some deer, huh? Let's roll. Just starting the first drive. And take this finger, push it down. This girl will get right in here. She is horrible down there. The card to this video right here was the Sunday of last year. It was icing, snowing, freezing rain, whatever you want to call it. Sorry about that. And Bobby tried to cross there and he got stuck. Got my walking stick. <laughs> it's a tree. Sucker is not breaking. Got my walking cane now. Alrighty, we are all set up. Got a big line of pushers. We're gonna move down the timber. Trying to hurt us. Trying to hurt ourselves in the steep gully. Let's see if we can see any deer. We saw one kick out early, but time will tell. Okay, going through the drive. That's some really old rub right there. And then these are a lot of deer paths. You can tell. Like, look at this fresh rub. That's pretty fresh. That's kind of cool. So one thing we don't want to do 
is shoot a deer down there because we would not be able to get it out. That's, it'd be 200 feet straight uphill or half a mile down the hill. Either way, not good. So I am more than likely not going to shoot in this drive, which I am okay with. Unless it is a absolute monster wall monitor. Not gonna happen. Blocker, blocker. Not much in here. Oh well, we use a strike out on this drive. Where did she come from? So yeah, so there's a deer sitting right there. I just look up and I see Brown move for a little bit behind James. And she gone. Shoot. So there was a deer in here. Well, he didn't do that right. We we're kind of fanned out. I saw this guy two years ago. Just a big old log cable, or a log skitter winch cable he just left here. Honestly, it's probably worth some money in scrap. It's probably at least 50, 100 pounds. A lot of wire there. Here's the logging road, or what was a logging road. So I think we're done. Look at that, that's a fresh rub. Done in the last probably week or two. Bucks do that to trees. Head back to trucks and regroup and go to the next one. Gonna have to learn from this mistake. I think, like I said, we need to have the third driver down a little bit, but hey, this is what it is. Deer are gonna do what deer are gonna do, so a lot of times it's a crapshoot. That's why it's called deer hunting and not deer killing, because it's, uh, it's a hunt. You never know what the wild animal is gonna do. Cool, let's roll. Had one kick out early, right when we started walking in, it kicked over, and then right there at the end, we had a doe double back in between James and Lynn. It must have just been sitting down waiting for us to cross her. And then as soon as James crossed her, she hopped up. She wasn't spooked. If he ran across the valley, probably. Steve, that's huge for your standards. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Big, <laughs> the <biggest laughs> Would have been the biggest buck you've killed all year. That. I ain't shooting any fucking anything with anything more than a nub on it. It had to have been a smart doe that went between you because younger one, younger ones wouldn't have done that. I didn't see it come out. You know, I just must have been just sitting there. It was because I, I was looking up for some point of that reason. All of a sudden I saw a brown speck move this way. Like did, wasn't in any hurry, didn't flick her tail up. And then once you were past her and I yelled at you, you I think you drew or you did something and then you saw her I move. I just got ready. I was looking. I saw something white ahead just out to the front. Yep. But then I heard it on top. Yep. That's when it started walking away. It just climbed a big steep. Didn't get anything out of the first drive. Didn't even hear a shot. A couple, a fork I think and a doe. Now we're going to be hunting this next spot. I'm going to be a blocker turned into a driver going around this bend. Uh, two years ago Daniel got a nice little buck from this drive. So we'll kind of see what happens but let's roll out Autobots. Yeah, this creek is flowing today. Ah. I'm kidding. Uh, oh, yeah. This car, I'll take Justice's car, I guess. Wow. Now that's a Snickers bar. Peace. Good cat eye. Good cat eye. to you attention whore. Yeah, you'll have a tough walk, Ducky. Let's go shoot him dead. This is the spot where we. I shot my doe last year. Up the hill. Yep. Up for drive number two. They're gonna start way over there. They'll push this all the way around. Hopefully the deer come funneling up with this because we're on a road and we'll block this all the way down. All the way down. So we'll block this here and hopefully the deer do what they're supposed to do and they'll come right at us, come up over this hill and hopefully it'll be kind of fun. So drive two, Monday. Day three of deer season. It's been a great year so far. The weather's been good. It's actually hot today. I'm sweating. All right, we got everybody in line. And Budman's recording right now. I'm gonna be up here. And then we have Donnie way out there. <laughs> All right, I'm in my spot to block. I cut my finger and I gotta take a grumpy. That's a number two. Let's see what happens. Well, for the deer. So this is where I'm gonna be at. So we have that entire road lined. Gosh, I love it when I talk to myself. 
Anyway, like I was saying, these are my shooting lanes, right? Right here. Over. I don't need to shoot. I don't want to shoot past this way because I got uh, blockers on the road. And they'll be able to shoot down. It's mainly only the deer that wrap all the way up and out. Is that I'll, is the ones I'll have a shot at. And it's nice, too, because I got a good backstop across the whole way. I guess I could say the deer could walk across the CRP, too. That has happened because we actually used to block that CRP. But I just, I don't like blocking up there. You're on top of a hill. You can't see very many people. Yeah, I just don't love that. And when you block there, you're kind of cutting out this timber, too, which sometimes deer are in. So that's why we're here. So yeah, I guess I can't rule out them coming straight at me. So we're about 10 minutes into the drive by now. Haven't heard anything, but we won't probably hear anything for probably 40 minutes or so unless the drivers get a shot. But this is usually our bread basket. In the last year I got a really nice dough. And then right there. And then uh, two years ago, I, or three years ago, I got a really, really nice buck. You guys should check that out. And again, I want to kind of point this out that I can manipulate the audio on these things. So it may sound like I'm talking in a normal voice, but I'm actually whispering. turned into a driver because the block we had nothing my battery died so I wanted to exchange just a quick look at that a lot of rub right there a lot of rub on that tree right there the only three in there. Thought for sure there would have been more deer than that in here. I didn't hear a single shot from our group. But yeah, so that was for sure two fawns and probably a maybe a year and a half, maybe two and a half year old. I never really had a shot at her anyway. Drive's over. Um, you can probably walk around to me. Done with drive two. I saw nothing. See anything, Willie? Any good ones? Yeah, they're going to be saying good ones. Up 
20 yards in front of him that was standing there. Just looking all wide-eyed. He knew somebody was coming or something was coming. <laughs> and all of a sudden two of them shot across here. And I don't know where the other two. No shots. I didn't hear any shots. No. Well, we finished up with this drive here. We did see, I don't know if you could see it, but there was four or five deer down there. They're does, little ones. And I saw Jamie pull up, ready to shoot. Chris Kelly was stretchy. He was ready to shoot, and so was Steve. So if they were coming this way, but they got down towards about the crest of the hill down there, and then they all went that way. Well, was it meant to be? We're still having fun here in beautiful Jackson County, Iowa. You know it. Let's have fun from the Bud Man. Well, it took Bobby a year to get his uh, fence open, but we finally got the gate open. Good job, Bobby. So now we're just starting our uh, next drive. It's the third one of the day. This is actually the first one that we did on uh, Saturday morning. And we got a nice buck out of, and a little buck. <laughs> Just messing with them. So we got four guys gonna go up on top of there. One's gonna stay here, and us three are gonna go way over there. Just walk it in, starting the next drive. We're starting the next block. I'm gonna be up on there. Jesse's here. Bobby's up there. starting our third drive of the day. Didn't even shoot anything in the last two drives, but we did see some deer. So let's hope it tastes a little better. Blammo! Made it to the top of the hill. Man, so I was taller than I can I remember on Saturday. Last drive of the year for me. Hopefully the guys are gonna do two more drives after this. I just gotta go because I gotta fly out to Texas at five o'clock. It's about noon right now. Driver, 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 driver. Drive's over. Here comes our drivers on drive three. Didn't even hear a blammo, not even a single shot. So, must be nothing in these guys. Must have cleaned the house the last two days. But hopefully some next drives will be better. Well, there was one deer in here, a little fork. But that was it. We're not gonna shoot forks, obviously. And. If it's an accident, yes, we, we will take the meat for sure. But what we like to shoot are big does and big bucks. You know, like I, I think someone meant in a, mentioned in the comments, well, if you're going for population control, why shoot bucks anyway? Well, bucks get hit bigger, bucks do more damage, and if you only shoot half the sex, I mean, you're leaving a lot out there. That's kind of a answer to that question as far as I know. But looks like we are D-U-N done, and I am D-U-N and I am D-U-N done for the season. Darn, I I was gonna see something, but hey, it is what it is. Did see something, but I didn't get to hear a shot or anything. So we're gonna call that a season for me. I guess I didn't get a recap on that last drive, so I saw those three, but just about everybody on that valley had a shot at a, at a doe, but they're all pretty small. Not a, not a whole lot of shooters. I know my 
one came a couple came between Jamie and my dad. Stretch had it lined up at one. Steve lined up at one. So we had a we had a good drive on that last one. Saw a deer, just nothing big. And then this one, I saw a deer, nothing big. And hope the rest of the guys saw deer as well, but nothing nothing to shoot at. So let's go down and recruit. And I'm gonna vamoose. But don't you think that this is the end of the video or the end of the deer season? There's still gonna be one more video with uh, Bobby and Dad recapping Tuesday and Wednesday of gun season because Iowa gun season runs Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the first first uh, Saturday in December is when it starts. So there's still there's still more coming. So just stay tuned. So like this for example, if we ever need to block this valley with two people, so like you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of deer season, we typically have less people, so we have to make choices and sacrifice. So I think instead of being up on top, I'd give up a little up top, sit right here. That way you can shoot all the way down to the bottom if you need to. Besides, other than that fork, they rarely run the ridge top right at me. It's usually like right in here they run. There's Toad. So I lied. I am going to do help out on this next drive, but I'm in a very early blocker so I can dip out in about a half hour. But the guys are just walking in. They're going to walk up the timber and push it over and up. That's what they're going to do on this drive. So like I said, I'm going to be done within probably 10 minutes. That's good because I need to get going because I have a flight in approximately four hours. And I need to go home, go home, pick up Daisy, go to actual home in Davenport, change, pack, and get to the airport. Probably not enough time. That's okay. Any advice for the crowd? It's been a slow day, but we're still at it. Got the oldest people in the group doing the hardest work. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old man. <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. You're the senior leader. <laughs> Drive number four, haven't heard a shot yet. Ron's going to Texas, so we'll begin filming from the Bob Man and the Bub Bud Man today. Man, it's taking them a solid 15 minutes to walk up that hill and get out in the CRP. Oh wow, I do not envy whoever had to do that. That sucks. But hopefully they start here soon. They're still sitting there in a line, kind of like that. Well, that tree looks kind of cool. Anyone know what kind of tree that is? Pretty wood. So I do want to say this back a little bit more on the coyote, hunting coyote versus hunting deer. I have no problem shooting a coyote, but again, I struggle doing it when I am blocking and I know there's deer coming. Case in point, when Bobby got his buck, card in this video right here uh, in the first draft in the first video he shot a coyote early his buck still came down to him yes but the big guy the mature one that knows what's going on the slow one he heard the shot and went completely out of the drive basically cut out short and now one of the drivers saw him so yes you can probably get away with shooting coyotes every once in a while but again that is a perfect textbook story where if Bobby wouldn't have shot that coyote that buck might have come right to him, the big, big buck. I mean, don't get me wrong, the buck that he got was good, but you just have to watch that video to figure it out. So the drivers are almost lined up across the hill, they're gonna, then they're gonna push her across. I'm basically more of a safety valve here in case something's really early and ducks out. Probably not gonna happen, but hopefully they push it around and push it up, and the people up on top of the hill are actually gonna get the shooting. I'm like 300 yards away from the drive, so I can talk in a lower voice and be fine. Because again, I, I guarantee I'm not going to see anything. Now they're moving. So we got Budman, Steve, Bobby, Daniel, and somebody else, will, and probably Ted, all up on top of the hill. So the drive has begun, which means I'm going to be useful for about five minutes. They've definitely been here. Look at the rub. Older rub. Pretty new rub right there. Here, dearie, 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 to eat you. And that's only, like, I'll be able to see something pretty early. Well, drive's already past me. So I'm gonna put my gun in my sock and pick up these two guys. Head out, they're, like I said, on the hillside. Got a bunch of black deer right there, otherwise known as cows. So I think we're good to head out. All right, people who think Iowa is not hilly should go to Eastern Iowa. I have these giant, oh, I mean, I'm also in a ravine, but Eastern Iowa is gorgeous and very hilly. It's beautiful. Look, what? Just heard three shots. Hopefully you heard that fourth one. That sounds like our guys. Let me see if I can get out of here. Ah! I gotta get up. Oh, and the road's way up there. Good one, Bob. Set up to do another drive. 
push this hollow down and this hollow down to see what happens there. Well, day in Jackson County, people, you know it. It's beautiful Jackson County, Iowa, everybody. And I haven't pulled the trigger yet today, so I don't know what's gonna happen. One more drive, we'll find out. Ron had to take off. He had to head down to work. So we're down him. He's done for the week. Anything to say, Toad? No, no. Toad's the man of few words, but they're mighty wisdom-wise, so. Last drive, Daniel got four shots off at some deer sprinting across the bean field. Uh, he took off the antler on one of the deer, but uh, nothing good. They were trying to look for blood, but they didn't see anything. Uh, they did get an antler, though. Now I'm going to be blocking until I see half of our drivers, then I'm going to be driving the rest of the way, and then we're going to go kind of to the bowl, uh, also on the Ernst property. It's pretty open right in front of me, but then it kind of gets really hard to see once you go about 50 yards. So I might go down the hill a little more, and that'll be my blocking spot. Just, just heard a gun go off across the valley. It might be our blockers. Let's hope we got a deer. That's my thumb. Oh, there's another shot coming from yonder. Okay, three shots. So either zero deer down, four shots, five shots. My gosh, either five deer down or zero deer down. Six, I hear a to my right. Seven, eight. It's like 4th of July here, darn it. Nine. Can we get a 10, please? If I was an auctioneer, I'd talk like an auctioneer. 10, can I get a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Found some more rub. Rub a dub dub in the tub. This whole driving thing is getting difficult. I wonder how many steps I've taken. I'm gonna guess by the end of the day, I'll have taken about 20 to 30,000 steps. Over the river and through the woods to grandma's house we go. A big shot just went off. Two shots went off. Let's get to the top of the hill and see what we can find. Ladder. Yes, my gun's on safety, y'all. I run half marathons and I'll burn probably maybe 2,200 calories on my watch. I'm running a half a marathon just today, walking. I have burned 1,540. That's the equivalent of like running, what, nine, eight miles? We'll get you in shape. I recommend it for most. Coming across some rubbing here again. <sighs> Deer must be close. If you're a skier, walking up and down these hills is actually good practice for getting your hips turned and making sure you don't fall down the mountain. So like I can walk this way and then I can turn quick, go down this way, turn quick, go down this way. I wonder if you can see where I ripped my pants. Right there. What do we find? Uh, nice really? Yeah. Oh. Fun and dope kicked up that way and the buck came down this way and Donnie shot, I shot three times, and Justice shot four times. Oh, so that's what it, I... was, it was up here and it was alive. They went up and I think they cut its throat. Yeah, all three you shot, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, a total of four, five, six, seven, probably nine times. Yeah, because nice I'm deer, like, though. It's, it's, okay, it's like, it's okay. Like, well, that's right next to me. And I'm like, Ooh, that's one over. And I was like, that was a different gun. I said, that had to be Patsy. So who ended up getting it? I don't know. I think it, between the three of us, it was probably a combination. Yeah. No, oh. Hang on, I'm going. I got it, I got it, I got it. Look at the sack on that yeah. Monster. Oh, there he goes. Hey, we gotta go! Oh yeah, there's holes all over that Sheesh. <laughs> what? That last one's me. That one right there. Yeah. That was when I got up there. On the tail side? Yeah. No, I had a, uh, right here. I usually like my meat salted, not peppered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she was a long day. It was very 
unsuccessful to the last drive and we did get one out of it it's called a 30 pack the reason why we call them a 30 pack if you shoot a deer you can't get a basketball in here which you cannot you gotta buy a 30 pack so young slim jim here tag team actually <laughs> oh so you both got to get a 30 pack 30 that's packs. okay right. with me oh, they're both in my car. still a wonderful day i mean it doesn't matter if we get deer we don't get deer we still have a lot of fun a lot of camaraderie uh it's just great to get out get this done Hi, bud. and uh just having fun walking through i think i'm up to 90 eight plus steps so i put on a few steps today that's 9800 by the way that's close to 10,000. so but anyway we had some good time we drove it's good weather nobody got hurt uh that's the main thing and everybody's happy so we're gonna head back to the deer camp get some vittles in us we got pulled pork tonight chicken noodle soup made rights chips and adult beverages and kid beverages We'll never turn anybody around or away. So with that being said, you got the Bud Man from you know it. Beautiful Jackson County, Iowa, folks. You got to love it. If you've never been here, come visit it. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now. Did you want to say something here? <laughs>